are doing really well. For today's video, I am bringing you a week of vegan lunch ideas. If you do try any of these at home, make sure to tag me on the gram so I can see your creations. I really, really love seeing your creations. And yeah, I just hope this video inspires you to get creative in the kitchen, make some delicious plant-based food. Anyway, let's get into it. This is a week of vegan lunches and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing we're making for our jackfruit nachos is a cheese sauce. I'm starting with some vegan aioli, some plant-based milk, some nutritional yeast, and then also some lemon, as well as paprika, salt, and then I am blending this together in my Vitamix until we get a nice creamy consistency. Then I'm getting a can of black beans and I am washing it thoroughly. Uh, and then we are going to put this into our frying pan with a little bit of oil. Then we're also adding in quinoa, paprika and salt. And we're just stirring this together and allowing it to fry for a few minutes. After that, I am then going to fry up some barbecue jackfruit. This is the Smoky Barbecue Jackfruit by Amazonia. And I am then going to plate up my nachos. So at first I'm doing one layer of corn chips followed by our black bean and quinoa mix and some cheesy sauce. Then the more corn chips and then I'm also adding on the black bean and quinoa mix as well as some jackfruit and some more cheese sauce on top. Then I'm just putting on some spring onions and then I'm also going to top it with some fresh sprouts for aesthetic. And this was a lunch that my housemate and I shared so it is perfect to share with someone you love. Alrighty, so to start our lentil sausage rolls we're getting a can of lentils and washing these thoroughly. Then I'm going to put them into a bowl and using my hands, I'm going to mash them up until we get a bit of a finer texture. Then I'm adding in some tinned tomatoes as well as some cooked quinoa, some spring onion and garlic. Then I'm adding in some salt and pepper as well as some Italian herbs and some paprika. And I'm just gonna mix this together until it is well combined. And then on a sheet of puff pastry, I'm going to put our lentil sausage roll mixture and then I am rolling this and cutting it in half. And this will use two sheets of puff pastry and make you four pretty big sausage rolls. Then I'm just gonna to top with some sesame seeds and after that, I'm going to bake those in the oven. All the baking instructions will be down in the description below. With this sausage roll, I just simply served it with some tomato relish, uh, but you could serve it with whatever you like and it is very, very delicious. salad I am first of all starting with some sweet potato which I am cutting into small cubed pieces and then putting them into a bowl and then I'm also going to put in some oil toss that all through so it coats sweet potatoes nicely and then I am going to add in some pepper as well as some herbs and some salt going to put this onto a baking tray and then roast it in the oven. Whilst these are roasting in a pan, I'm going to add in a can of washed chickpeas as well as some spring onion and sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to fry this up until it is nice and well cooked. And then in a bowl, I am just putting some couscous and covering with some water and a plate to cook. Once everything is all done, I am putting the couscous into a large bowl and then adding in my roasted sweet potatoes and tossing this all together lightly. Then once that is all done, I am putting it into a bowl and topping with our chickpea sun-dried tomato spring onion mixture and then topping with some fresh herbs um, for aesthetic. Sauté rice 
rice noodle salad and I'm first of all starting with some chickpea tempeh which I am cutting into cube sized pieces. I'm putting that tempeh into a bowl and drizzling it with some olive oil as well as some sesame seeds and then tossing it together lightly before adding some nutritional yeast and some salt for a little bit of extra flavor. I'm going to put these tempeh pieces onto a lined baking tray and then put them in the oven to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. Whilst they're baking, we're gonna make the satay sauce and I'm starting with some oil as well as spring onions, garlic and some water into a pot. And then I'm adding in some peanut butter. The full measurements will be down in the description box below. I'm mixing this all together and then from there I am adding in some rice malt syrup to add a little bit of sweetness as well as some lemon for some zest and I am mixing this together until it is really well combined and becomes a nice thin uh, satay sauce mixture as you can see. From there I am then going to in a larger frying pan just add in some frozen veggies. You could do whatever veggies you like, this is just the only thing that I had on hand at the moment. And when we're ready to serve we're going to get some cooked rice noodles and then put the frozen vegetables on top. The frozen vegetables that are now cooked I should clarify, followed by our sesame tempeh and then drizzling with satay sauce. And then also going to add on some spring onions for a bit of crunch and again some sprouts for some aesthetic. This was one of my favorite meals of the week. It was so delicious. I really recommend trying it out. Alrighty, so we are starting first of all with a can of black beans which we are once again washing and then in a frying pan I'm starting with some oil as well as spring onion and our washed black beans then some paprika as well as some onion powder followed by some garlic powder as well and then adding in a little bit of salt and I'm going to mix this together and leave it to cook for a few minutes so that it is nice and flavorful <laughs> from there in a small baking tray i am first of all putting some enchilada sauce or tomato salsa whatever you have on hand in the bottom and then i am getting some small tortillas and i am wrapping some of our black bean mixture in them before placing them into the tray upside down and yeah, I'm just going to do that with four small tortillas and then I'm going to put some more of our tomato salsa or enchilada sauce on top. From there, I'm putting that into the oven to bake and whilst it's baking, I'm making a cashew cheese sauce with some cashews as well as some lemon and then some nutritional yeast, of course, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper and a little bit of salt and some water and I'm just going to blend this up until it is really well combined and nice and creamy. Then I'm serving up my enchiladas onto a large plate and then I'm going to drizzle them with our delicious cashew cheese sauce. This cashew cheese sauce makes a nice amount of sauce so you'll be able to keep it to use it for some other meals throughout the week as well. And this is our final product just topped with coriander. A really, really easy and super delicious. Once again today we are starting with some black beans which I'm putting into a bowl and then I'm just mashing lightly with my hands before putting them into a Vitamix. Then I'm adding in some almond meal as well as some onion powder and some garlic powder then some nutritional yeast as well and some pepper followed by some Italian herbs. I'm going to blend this all together and then I am going to make a coating just from some almond meal and some nutritional yeast and then I'm going to roll that black bean mixture into bowls, dip it into our coating and then put them on to a baking tray. Uh, you can get the idea <laughs> from that. Then I am putting these into the oven to bake and whilst they are baking I'm just going to cook some pasta and heat up some pre-done pasta sauce. So I'm just putting my cooked pasta into some bowls. This again makes two meals. Uh, me and my housemate shared this and then I'm going to put our black bean meatballs on top 
followed by some of our uh, tomato pasta sauce and then some nutritional yeast and almond meal on top as a parmesan and this was yeah this was so delicious i actually really impressed myself with this and i really recommend trying it out if you have the time to do so at home So once again we're starting with some chickpea tempeh and I am just cutting half of a block into four even pieces. Then I am getting a wide bowl and in it I am first of all starting by putting in some lemon juice. If you're wondering what I'm doing there I'm just stopping the seeds from going into the bowl. And then I am adding in some rice malt syrup and mixing this together lightly. Then I'm going to marinate the chickpea pieces in this lemon juice uh, for about 20 minutes is ideal. Deal. and then in the meantime I'm going to make a coating from almond meal and nutritional yeast as well as some garlic powder and some onion powder and then I'm also going to use a little bit of salt and mix that together until it is nice and well combined then I'm going to dip out chickpea tempeh pieces in the coating and put them onto a baking tray you should get a really nice coating on these so it's going to be nice and crispy and I'm just going to put these in the oven for about 20 to 20 five minutes until they're nice and golden when I'm ready to serve I'm just gonna put some rice into a bowl and then I'm gonna top it with our chickpea tempeh and then also with half of a lemon and some sesame seeds on top this is such a simple meal and it is really really delicious and filling which is what I love and it also brings us to the end of a week of vegan lunches I hope this inspired you to get creative in the kitchen Alrighty, my beautiful friends, that was a week of vegan lunches. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you super soon for another video. Love you guys so much. Bye.